Hi, this is Rita from Movie Spirit. Today we are going to introduce the video matting function. As we know, there are two types of video matting. The first one is the video with solid color background, such as green screen or blue screen video. And we can perform the video matting with one click based on the chroma key function. Let me take a video example to show you here. As we can see, this is a green screen video. Double tap on the video to enter into the editing mode and tap on the chroma key function. Select the green button. The green background color will be removed directly here. Please be note that if the background color of the video is not belong to the standard colors here, we can click the custom button to specify the color as we need. Okay, let's see the output. We can add another video here to merge with it, then we can find a totally different video output effect. However, when there's a video with no solid color background, but with multiple color background, then how can we perform the video mattings? That's the second type of video matting that we are going to introduce today. First of all, please ensure that we go to the setting page to set the video frame as 25 frames per second. Otherwise, 60 frames means that the system will take longer time to process the matting. Okay, now I will take this video example to show you how to perform the video matting. I buy myself a nice dress, the most expensive lipstick, and try my best to earn money to make me live well every day. It's not for a boyfriend to make me cry. Okay, it's a video a little longer. I will speak out only 5 minutes of them to show you the operational step of video matting. Tap on the speak icon to split the video into two parts. And then double tap on the first part of the video to enter into the editing mode. Click on this matting button to enter into the matting page. This is the main interface of the video matting function. I will introduce all these function keys one by one here. First of all, Put two fingers on the screen and then open or contract your fingers. You can zoom in, zoom out and move the video freely. And the second function key I'm going to introduce is the blue dot in the middle of the screen. It is the smear brush we need to use for the matting mask. Blue dot means that it is in unselected status and you can move the dot position by moving your finger on the screen. The size of the brush can be adjusted here. Click on the blue dot, it will turn to orange colored and it means that it is in slatted status now. At this time, we can move the finger on the screen to smear the mask area that we want to perform the video matting. Please be note that when we smear the mask, do not press and hold on the dot to smear it as it will block the area where we can't see the application. Just press and hold on the area next to or below the door to smear. Orange represents that it is the possible area for the matting. We just need to smear an outline here. Even if it is beyond the area, it doesn't matter because the system will identify it automatically. Even the system identification is wrong, we can adjust it manually later. Once we click on the green button here, the door will turn to green selected status. At this time, when we move our fingers on the screen, it will smear into a green area. Now let's take a look at the red button. Once we click on the red button, it will turn to red and green. The middle area is red color and the outside is green. At this time, when your finger moves on the screen, it will erase the green area we just painted. But the orange area that has been painted will not be affected. If we click the orange button again, the red button will change to red and orange, red in the middle and orange outside. 
At this time, our finger moves on the screen where erase the painted orange area. To stop erasing, we can click the dot again to restore it to the blue unselected status or click the red dot below to cancel the selected status. Once the erase data is cancelled, we can continue to smear the mask. Okay, now let's take a look at what do this number stands for. The time here represents the time projection of the current flame in the video. One flame is the 40 milliseconds. The number 1 here means that the current flame is the first flame of the video. And the number 147 means that there are in total 147 flames in this video clip. Okay, as we have completed smearing the mask area, now we can click the Analyze button to start processing the video matting. Once it's completed, the system will stop and let's preview the matting output effect firstly. As we can see that the video matting is incomplete here, hence we need to click the Preview button on the right corner to adjust the mask area. As we can see that we already used the orange color to smear the girl's ear here, but it was still not included. Hence, we need to use the green brush to smear the girl's ear again to further confirm that it is belong to the mask area. And then click the Analyze button again to redo the video matting after the change. This time the matting effect is OK already. Then we can click the Continue button to continue analyzing the subsequent video flames. The system will auto apply the same mask of the first flame to the rest video flames. What we need to do here is just observe with attention whether there's any incomplete matting or wrong matting. If yes, just click the Analyzing button to pause the matting operation and revise the mask area and redo the matting analyze again. As we can find that there's no problem for the auto matting here. Hence, we don't need to pause the operation, just let the system to complete the auto analyze. Okay, as we can see that the video matting of all the video flames have been completed. Then we can click the dig in the upper corner to complete the matting process. Okay, let's preview the video matting output effect. I buy myself a nice dress, the most expensive lipstick, and try my best. Oh, I forgot to mention the feeder degree here. The feeder degree can be set to improve the output effect of the video matting here. Let's preview the output again. This time I add another video as the background. Let's see what's the difference. I buy myself a nice dress, the most expensive lipstick, and try my best to earn money to make me live well every day. Money to make me Anyone notice above the ghost head there's a flaw there? We didn't notice just now, hence we need to go back to the matting interface to revise the mask area for some of the video flint. We need to use the bare wall or four wall button to find out which of the video flint have the flaw here. As we notice, the video matting of this flint has the flaw. Here, I would like to emphasize one important tip. That is, before we revise the smear mask area for one of the video flame, we need to set as key flame for the next video flame firstly. Why we need to do that? That's because we only smear the mask area for the first video flame when we perform the video matting process and the system auto-copy the same mask to all the subsequent video flames directly. If we revise the mask without setting the next flame as key flame here, all the flames behind it will lose the mask that had been copied from the first flame. Therefore, here we need to tap the four wall button to the next video flame, and then tap the more option button and then select set as key flame. Just tap on the text here and it will be selected. And now we can click the back wall button to the flame which has the matting floor to revise the mask area. To revise the mask, we need to tap the mask preview button in the lower right corner here. 
To remove the extra piece on the top of the girl's head, we just need to place the blue dot on the top of it and then tap the red button to change it to the erase status. And then put the finger on the screen and slide it up slightly. After that, click the analyze button again. The extra piece will be removed directly. It's not necessary to erase it all, as the system will detect our attention intelligently. So please remember these important tips. Before we revise the smear mask area for one of the video flame, we must go to the next flame to set it as key flame firstly. I would like to take more time to show you why we have to set the next video flame as key flame before we perform the any change to the mask area. For example, I want to revise the smear mask of the first flame. As I have emphasized, we must set the next flame, the second flame, as the key flame first lead. I will show you what will happen if we don't do it. As we can see, the second flame is not set as key flame here, and then we are going to revise the smear mask of the first flame now. I just random do some change here to see what will happen. I just erase some smear area and tap the analyze button to reanalyze the video matting for the first flame only. Do not continue to redo the analyze for the rest video flames. Let's complete the video matting process directly here and preview the output. I buy myself. I buy myself. Did you notice the video jumps here? The video flashed for a second because we didn't set the next flame as key flame before we made the change. So the mask on the second flame was lost. Therefore, we have to redo the analyze for the rest of the video flames here. Okay, let's recheck the final output. I buy myself a nice dress, the most expensive lipstick. I try my best to earn money to make me live well every day. It's not for a boyfriend to make me cry. Okay, we can create the final project and save it to the camera roll now. Last but not least, when there's a video with people dancing or doing the sports, it's okay to do the video matting for it? The answer is yes, but we may need to revise the mask flame by flame here. I will take another video example to show you the operational steps. <laughs> Okay, it's a dance video. The girl's extra movement is a little big here. For this kind of the video, we need to perform the video matting flame by flame. I just split one minute of the video out to show you the operational steps. Double tap on the video to enter into the editing mode and then tap on the map function key. Firstly, use the orange brush to smear out the outline of the cut out figure. Even if beyond the mask area, it doesn't matter as the system will identify it automatically. And then click the below the analyze button to process the matting. As we can see, the video matting output has three parts that need to be further revised here. Here we can use two fingers to spread on the screen to enlarge the video image. And tap the mask preview button to go back to the mask interface. Reduce the size of the smudge brush and move it to the position where we want to revise. Once more, tap on the red button to turn it to the selected erase status. No need to remove all the extra piece. Just put the finger on the screen and slide it slightly and click the analyze button to preview the output as the system will detect our intention intelligently. As we can see, the extra pieces have been removed. Now let's process the missing part. Since we have used the orange brush to smear this part but it still not be included into the mask area, at this situation, we need to smear it with the green brush to further determine that it belongs to the mask area. 
So here we need to select the green brush firstly and then use it to outline the edge of the missing part from top to bottom. And tap the Analyze button again to process the matting after the change. If the matting output is not good enough, then we go back to revise it again until the output looks perfect. Okay, the video matting for the first fan is done now. Here we cannot use the continue button to auto process the matting for the rest of the video. If we use the auto analyze, the output will look like this. As the character is moving, hence the SME mask is also need to move along with it. So it can only be done flame by flame here. Therefore, we need to tap the forward button to process the second flame here. As the video matting output for the second fan looks ok here, then we can continue to tap the forward button to process the next fan. There's only a small missing part in the ghost arm. What we need to do is just go back to the mask interface and revise the mask area. And just repeat the operation until all the video flames are analyzed successfully. Even though each flame may need to be adjusted here, but only few parts of them, and the operation is very simple, only enough patience is required here. Since the time is limited, I'm not going to demonstrate all the operation for this video here. You can choose a video to have a try now. Any query, you are free to contact us via the email. Let's preview the final output of this video matting. As we can adjust the mask flame by flame so the output looks quite good. And please remember to set the feeder degree to improve the matting output effect. Once more, there are three more function keys I would like to introduce here. The first one is we can disable the matting mask here. Once we select it, the matting mask will not be applied to the video. The second function kit is we can click this button to click all the matting masks that we have created. Once we confirm it as yes, we need to redo the analyze. The third function kit is this reset button. We can click this button to delete the matting mask in the current friend. In case there's a video scene that the girl is leaving the video screen, then for this video friends, there's no need to add the matting mask. Then we can use this reset button to delete the matting mask that apply with the auto analyze. Please be know that reset is also a change to the video matting here. As we have emphasized many times that before we performed any change, we must go to the next flame to set it as key flame. Otherwise, it will cause the matting mask applied on the subsequent flames to be removed directly. Then we have to redo the matting analyze one more time. Okay, I have finished introducing the video matting function of Movie Spirit. However, I still would like to emphasize one more time about this important notice. The first one is we must remember to go to the setting page to set the video flames as 25 flames per second. The second one is the most important one, that is, we must remember to set the next video flame as key flame before we are going to revise the matting mask for one flame. If we are not set the next flame as the key flame, then all the masks applied on the subsequent flames will be removed directly. And the third one is we can click the close button to access the matting interface. System will auto save the matting process. The fourth one is when we smear the matting mask, do not press and hold on the door to smear. Just press and hold on the area next to or below the door to smear the mask. The last one is the color difference between the video foreground and the background is bigger, then it's more easy to process the video matting. The matting mask can be adjusted flame by flame in movie spirit. Okay, thank you very much for listening. In case you have any query, please feel free to contact us via the email. Adios.